Hey guys, one up Indie here, coming with a compressed version of a pretty interesting video roadmap thing of a yo yo game. So they um, gave us tons of information what's coming this year and next year. And I just wanted to compress that into a smaller video so you get the highlights and, of course, the few things which are of concern, in my opinion. All right, without further ado, let's jump into the highlights. So the first thing which we are getting in the future is a particle editor. So basically, before that, you needed to do that in, uh, I don't know, start the game and see if the particles are doing what they're supposed to. And now we get an editor and particles will be now an asset class. So basically, this will be added to the assets on the right side and then of course the next thing is a ui system so basically user interfaces like buttons menus or whatever will be a layer on the left side so gui layer they called it and then you will just have a layer and then you can just drag and drop uh, components in and customize them so uh pre-designed stuff really really cool and you can before starting the game uh, see how your gui actually looks like excellent love that and then the next thing, which is huge for me, at least I think this is an excellent feature. You can, uh, in the second half of this year, um, test your mobile games for Android and uh, Mac OS or whatever that is called for for <laughs> for Apple. Um, completely forgot it. Sorry. Um, you can actually test them inside Game Maker. So you make your uh, your your game, your mobile game, and you can actually check that out in the browser without SDKs and all that stuff. You just instantly start it and it works. So this is extremely great for testing out. So this, uh, this is a great feature. And of course, for the next year, SVG support. This is huge also because a game maker just allows to use PNGs or JPEGs or whatever. And this is just pixel graphics. But now we will go into the mobile sphere also, which uses heavily SVGs. Alrighty, so let's um, jump into the more interesting part, which is more interesting for uh, active developers and people who want to have a little more insights. And of course, see, uh, check out the timeline for the stuff which is of interest to you because there are tons of things. So very, very quickly. So the first part was just a recap from their side where they just said like, hey, we updated a lot. Yes, you did. Then you had some game jams. Yes, you did. And then you add some target platforms like, I don't know, Linux or Steam Deck and then maybe upcoming Epic. And of course they added and like say like, hey, we are adding new assets. Cool stuff. Why not? Everything went actually pretty good thing. So almost everything uh, went into a good direction once Opera ate yo-yo games. So actually um, I'm for that. So not gonna lie. This was good stuff and we are getting tons of things. Of course, this comes with the little downside of subscriptions, which riled up a lot of people. And then um, Game Maker is rebranding themselves to uh, from Game Maker Studio to Game Maker. So basically they do, did a product rebranding and now drag and drop is called GML Visual. Nothing too special in my opinion, but of course Game Maker, as a, Game Maker Studio as a keyword is still valid. So for my YouTube guys, this is still a valid keyword. But of course, um, just saying Game Maker is a little bit easier. All right, so let's go to the uh, upcoming stuff. First of all, technical, there are some changes for Xbox devs. So basically they killed xdk so you can read up if you like on that and then of uh, for windows there will no longer support 32 bits so once again this is kind of interesting and important um, if you got old 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 assets on 32 bits then um, they want to uh, make the game maker studio stable version uh, release on august and then two years no significant changes in concern how uh, the whole id is set up so once again technical stuff and then let's go into the roadmap which is the more important and interesting stuff which is features updates and things which are coming so one thing which they uh, for example want to do is to incorporate it um, asset bundle so this is what you're seeing in front of you so for example an asset bundle for i don't know a racing game and then they besides want to give you asset bundles each month of course just each month and then they disappear for subscribers you have the backlog for that and then uh, you can besides getting the uh, the bundles you're getting free 
template so basically a whole game like this will be free with the with the assets as far as i know and then you can just jump right into the game and just customize it to your liking so uh, no more starting from zero and this could be interesting for beginners so uh, good stuff on that then then the feather system so let's jump into game maker and then for example the feather system is basically and this is a great feature by the way um, where you just hover over with your mouse and then it gives you additional information and, that, and if this is IntelliJ um, then because this is based on them then you will have some um, auto what is that auto compiling and auto uh, correcting and so on tons of interesting features which are working uh, in the background which are supporting the developers pretty good stuff so here good good things then they talked about adding videos in game maker well why not this is a good thing then once again this is the interesting part for my mobile developers so for example if you have your target platform which is opera gx and later on ha second half of this year we will have a feature where you just make your game for mobile so for android or for mac os or whatever that is once again called um, so once again, <laughs> completely blanked out on that. And then you can take them and, and, and actually um, start them in Opera GX and just test them, which is a great thing. So no SDK handling, no issues with that. So no great setups, just basically snappy, testing it out works great. This is a pretty sweet feature. Then the next thing is our particle and that editor. So here there will be an asset class on the right side, which is I guess they will call it particles or whatever and then you can um, well, drag that into the room and then you can test it out instantly if you like or you can uh, place it into um, the sequence editor so this is once again pretty cool stuff and you can instantly see how the particles are handling so a lot of engines already have that we are once again not the cool kid on the bus and then we are just getting the feature later 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 but of course we're getting it so good stuff overall then they will do some prefabs kind of similar to the local uh, well import local or create local package and then you get some pre-designed uh, little packages which you can uh, get they call it or snippets whatever you want to call that and then they will contain some assets and then uh, they are ready to use this is what the idea behind the prefabs is and then they gave the example of the fx layer which is basically a prefab also and then for example it is basically just a, a, a pre-designed thing which is using then a shader so of course you can do everything with shaders in i don't know your own shader you can define it but the prefab thing is just a ready to use instant thing pretty cool stuff by the way in my opinion not sure how that plays out but this could be interesting then the next thing as you can see i'm just rushing through the content there will be on the left side a new layer which will be the GUI layer then you can just drag and drop stuff in there and then boom you can instantly with some uh, pre-designed components um, I don't know do your buttons or for example your menu your inventory system and you can see live how everything is looking like pretty cool stuff in my opinion but let's see how that works out then you will get some triggers so once again this will be kind of a thing which you do normally with uh, uh, objects also you just drag and drop that into the room or you place it or whatever and then for example you got some different kind of events so basically a hover over a leaf and something else so this could be cool for buttons itself or for example a kind of a trigger plate to open a, a door or for example to exit a level or whatever and then for example if you are entering it and uh, you're leaving it then you can do different kind of things with it so pretty cool stuff overall triggers why not good stuff uh, coming uh, second half of the year then uh, for the marketplace this is interesting for people who are using the marketplace and then for example for who are selling stuff on the marketplace so they revamped it quite a lot and then um, there will be uh, a few more features i don't know you can follow follow bookmark or do user rating i guess they could do that before but huh? all right and then um for developers there will be more analytics tools so once again they want to uh, have their own marketplace let's say uh, or more prominent marketplace just for game maker related content so basically just itch.io but just for themselves 
And then let's go into the last thing, which is the roadmap for 2023. So the next year, and then we are closing this video because I don't want to make it too long. They will add other programming languages. Not sure what they mean by that. So I guess make it more universal. And then um, they want to add multiplayer support free for GXC and paid for other platforms. <laughs> what the hell? Well, I guess interesting here. What what that means? Then pretty big change will be audio improvement. So basically, you can have an ad filter. So once again, if you are having uh, audio file, come on, come on, faster, 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 sound, then there's not much you can do. And you can basically will have an editor for that, and you can edit, uh, apply filters, and modify the sound, and so on. Here you can just preview it, and that's basically it, and just store it into a group or whatever. So pretty powerful stuff, an editor for uh, sound overall. Very good stuff and there will be some FMOD support. FMOD is just a library for playing sounds. Then they will improve international languages. Yay! And then um, there will be an asset generator which can create art and sound from templates. Not sure what that means. A little bit too generic in my opinion because this is very wonky. Um, then, but of course, why not? Features are features. And then some workflow improvements. So basically, the image editor will get an overhaul. So here, people who are, uh, were used to the better, a lot of people just say like the old editor was better. So maybe we're getting more, more features in this kind of thing. So uh, why not? Of course, this one is actually working pretty fine. So you got all the standard stuff, but maybe, uh, I don't know, there was some glow you can uh, attach to here and so on. So once again, uh, the old game maker editor was supposed to be superior. So we're getting an upgrade here. Then the next thing is we are getting support, not just for PNGs, because this is PNG, basically a format. And then the SVG format is what you see in uh, lots of mobile games, because that is vector based and uh, it doesn't really matter how you stretch that thing. It always looks sharp and kind of, I don't know, I don't, I don't like the aesthetics of the mobile games, but um, they always look sharp, so <laughs> this is a plus thing. So we're getting SVG support and a PSD uh, also. So this is a Photoshop um, data So from Photoshop if you lose that. And then the last thing is they want to make once again more. Where are you? Come on, come on, come on, come on. More of these things, so more templates. For example, for RPG games, for clickers, for racing games, for um, side scrolls. So once again, a whole game will be finished and presented and downloadable to use for you from Game Maker, and then you can uh, advance it to your liking. And of course, they will give you out more free assets, so like sound effects. So here, for example, you got some music tracks, or here you had some graphical assets. And then, of course, uh, the last thing is they want to have more of uh, video game tutorials like what I do. So basically, they just want to kick me out of my job. <laughs> no, just kidding. They just want to, uh, maybe not, I, I don't even know, uh, make more uh, video tutorial series on making games. Why not? Better is always more. And then, for example, if you are a content creator, you can wink, wink, uh, uh, send them an email and then contact them because... Um, you can discuss terms with them and then maybe some do some collaboration. So, hey, this is your chance. Alrighty, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.